moment. Welcome, everybody, as you're looking live at a sold-out arena ready to kick things off tonight. Scores will be settled, bodies will be broken, and dominance will be established. And it all starts right now. With everything going on lately, we thought we might see him tonight. Oh, this should be good. This could honestly be about a few things. Let's find out. Loud and proud. The fans are eating it up. Definitely a fan favorite. No lacking for confidence, that's for sure. Said it better myself. What just see? Wow, just awesome. Well, I'm not sure if we can top that, but we will do our best as we move along with our program. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Next up, tag team action. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by a real fan favorite against the undead.
contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 260 pounds. Owen! Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing Karen here on Thanksgiving? Owen. They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. At a combined weight of 770 pounds, Dead and Demon, the Undead. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start oh, things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, well, you power bomb! That might be it. Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, what a right! Man, that's some behind it. Sent out to the middle. Oh! Double super kick! Try it. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Kick to the gut! Well, Nelson... And he's heading back in. Six. Shot block. Got to get back in the ring. We might just have a count out on our hands, Cole.
right to the back. That's how you put an exclamation point on. He's got the shoulders down. Well, that was a tough loss. A real difficult loss for that young man. And he's got to feel bad about this, Corey. He worked hard. He worked hard, but he came up short. It's an unfortunate situation. But his partner doesn't look too pleased. No, not at all. I mean, come on, like that guy hasn't lost before? Please. Confidence is good. Arrogance is not. Walking a full line there. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. received and I for can't wait. I can't believe what we just saw. Well I'm not sure we can top that but we will do our best as we move along with our program.
We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. All bets are off as we get extreme. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have a real fan who's a formidable opponent. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 243 pounds, the WWE Hardcore Champion, Hardcore Rick. And his opponent, from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, And let me take this opportunity to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's just Saxton's commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up gave me a little boost. It's Saxton's commentary. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive Ouch. offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. 
If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. Oh. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. to the face. technique. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Strike. you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Back now inside the ring. Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Man. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Uh-oh, this might be it. Oh, my. Game, set, match. This one is over. Look at this. He looks a bit off his game. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. Hey, his opponent has a pulse. Who knew? For a while there, I thought he was acting dummy. Hump day. Hopefully this WWE. Look at this. Keep your eye on this one. Incoming. 
Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. What a strike. Looking for the... This could be all she wrote. Oh, nasty impact. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Bringing it back into the ring. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night with us. We appreciate you choosing WWE. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. Talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. what's going to happen. This match could go anywhere. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones and even critical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Such a tough target. Man, this has been a great matchup. next. Oh my goodness! He knows he's in trouble. Uh-oh, uh-oh! A long way up! Ring rattling! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Well, he got him. Let's look at this again. Shoulders on the mat. Two, three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. This superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, I kind of did too. The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, singles match on tap next. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. Strategy in the cage is always important. We'll see who attacks and who tries to escape here.
making her way to the ring from Maryland, the WWE Women's Champion, the Queen. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. You know what, guys? Aside from my family, I can't think of two other people I'd rather spend Thanksgiving with. Uh, I, I go so far as to say that you are like family to me. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. And her opponent, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Lazara. And guys, what a thrill it must be for these superstars to compete here on Thanksgiving. Especially considering what this day has meant to this industry over the years. For decades, Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment. And that tradition continues here tonight. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Harsh impact. seen her withstand worse in the past though you know she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit it motivates her and this might just be what she needs to put her over the top believe it or not from the looks of things it just doesn't appear to be her night oh, but hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing Impact. She's too quick for her. And look at it from... And she turns it around on her. I think she's trying to prove a point here.
You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, nasty impact. This is not where she wants to be. She's gonna have to turn things. Ooh. Submission time! We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Said not for a Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so... The shoulders are down. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. Not even close. Vicious strike. Oof. Oh, no. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. And it's a long way down from there. This won't end well. Oh, what a splash! I don't know how much more of this he can take. Guys, there's a chance she won't be able to recover from this. Yeah, things look bleak right now. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Oh, man. German suplex. Oh, look at this. Second suplex. This is not going to be good. She's looking at it. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will only be... You us. I knew it was only a matter of time. Let's go back and take another look. Great move by her right there. the trigger. Ooh, right to the face. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. A clubbing blow, Cole. That should end it. He spoke about this. Corey, it's crucial for a WWE to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. Wait a minute. Off oh, position and top. Heading up there, this is not going to be good. Could be catastrophic. What a scary drop. Intense. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Beautiful. 
beautiful technique. Well, the idea here is to debilitate your opponent and give yourself time to climb over the cage wall and out to the floor. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She might have it. Whoa, what impact. Wow, she's fought her. She goes for the cover. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Can you believe this? Quick thinking to avoid that one. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. She's looking at it. Nailed it. That should do it. Let's look at that one again, guys. Cole, she might win this thing right here. Into the quick cover. And you could put this singles match in the books. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. I just love it when the women put on a show like that one. You can see right here the moments that made this match a great one. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner, the Queen. What a ferocious conclusion to this steel cage match. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. What a great match. Thank you everybody for spending part of your Thanksgiving holiday with us. Well, okay.
feeling we would start this way. Here we go. This crowd obviously wants to know what's going on. Bad blood is a boiling. Poking the bear. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. Just a bully. Between these superstars, that's for sure. Not me better not take anything for granted in this business. That's all I'm going to say. Not feeling the love for that superstar. The lead into the next matchup, which should be a good one. Bring on the tables, ladders, and chairs. These fans say the more, the merrier. Oh, man, stay with us because you won't want to miss this. Get ready for the hardware to come out. We have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opponent. Oh, yeah, boy.
Making his way to the ring from New York, New York, weighing in at 321 pounds, the European champion, B. Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing here on Thanksgiving? They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. And let me take this opportunity to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's just Saxton's commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up is gonna boost. It's Saxton's commentary. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, oh, mano a mano. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. What a stop! Good grief! He's starting to feel it here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A table, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E&C. Vicious attack. 
He finds himself in some big trouble here. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. He's in big trouble. Russian leg sweep. This could be dangerous. Something big is coming. What's he going to do with it? Northern Lights. These competitors are just trying to stay under control. This might be it. Oh, my. He's making a statement here with this attack. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Oh! A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also... He might have it. Looking for Michael. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling. Cross the shoulders. Up and. Watch vertical suplex. Nice. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I think we're about to see a high risk move from the top rope. Incoming. Seven Russian leg sweep. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. A second time. When this guy's on, look out. I mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating the match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. 
but Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on the The Viper became realized when he both historic prizes and became WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Earlier, Byron, you took us through the rules of a TLC match. Something to point out is that for TLC tag team matches, there are no traditional tag team match rules as far as tagging in and out with your partner. It's all team members in the ring at the same time, which used to be known as Texas Tornado Rules back in the day. TLC matches are fought under the premise of anything goes until it's time to climb the ladder and grab whatever's suspended over the ring. It's usually a championship. Since there are no rules, a superstar can do whatever they feel is necessary to reach the top of the ladder and climb straight to victory. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him. Oh, my goodness. All right, listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E and C. You spoke about the TLC match. It's interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote unquote climb the ladder and win but i can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening you mean the yip score i don't know if i go that far i mean it's not like these superstars are second basemen in new york they can't walk after that attack to the back Look at this, guys. Things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. Inside the ring now. Drop kick. Beautiful. Big collision on the splash. Your odds of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just because you're so low doesn't mean you're going to win. But climbing a ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. Make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no count. Oh, launch to the outside. This won't be good for their opponent. Oh, blasted him over the top. I'm not sure how much he has left. No, oh, he got this again. Byron, you 
Jordan took us through the rules of a TLC match. Something to point out is that for TLC tag team matches, there are no traditional tag team match rules as far as tagging in and out with your partner. It's all team members in the ring at the same time, which used to be known as Texas Tornado Rules back in the day. TLC matches are fought under the premise of anything goes until it's time to climb the ladder and grab whatever's suspended over the ring. It's usually a championship. Since there are no rules, a superstar can do whatever they feel is necessary to reach the top of the ladder and climb straight to victory. Oh, nasty impact. He's looking at it. These competitors trying to keep their wits about them. Beautiful technique. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Wow, let's see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. this earlier, but it bears repeating the match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope, but Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake, but being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016, when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar... Here he goes! DDT! Nice. Shut it down. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. He might have it. <laughs> Bringing it back into the ring. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Back now inside the ring. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, he's such a tough target. Here he goes. Lights out. He connects to think. I almost wrote him off earlier.
great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. The truth is, though, he's in far better condition than his opponent, which has to account for something going forward here. Oh, Big-time slam. Vicious. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. the effort these superstars are giving here in this TLC match, guys. Table in play! Oh boy, he is rolling! At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. It may look like this match is over right now, but let me assure you, climbing that ladder at this point is no easy task. Check him out. It'll destroy your face. At what point do those thoughts creep in of, what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Unless we start seeing some movement on the outside, I'm starting to think this one's over. Got the ladder where it needs to be, but as we know, that's only half the battle. All right, 
it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar. Look at this. Great move by him right there. Yeah, let's see that one again. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Things are obviously looking good right now, but let me tell you, climbing that ladder at this point in the match is no easy task. Here he goes. Slam with authority. This one's over, guys. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. We've seen this before. Slam! Here's his moment, Michael. Lightning fast reflexes. Ooh, what impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this. Oh, what an incredible. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Now watch this. Suplex. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their You gotta believe this one's over. That might have done it, Cole. There doesn't appear to be too much movement on the outside, guys. We might just be looking at the winner of this ladder match. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh boy, he is rolling. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Things are obviously looking good right now, but let me tell you, climbing that ladder at this point in the match is no easy task. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. There doesn't appear to be too much movement on the outside, guys. We might just be looking at the winner of this ladder match. Just a nasty headbutt. Game, set, match. This one is over. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He's looking at it. Oh, kick to the face. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He's lining him up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's a long way up. Power bomb! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Impressive, but you gotta be careful if you go to the well too often. And now it's H.
Nobody's pulled ahead here yet, guys, but as we all know, the complexion of the ladder match can change in an instant. Superstar still look fairly fresh to me, which means we may want to like Michael. It gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, nasty impact. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, going to the top, high risk. Jeez, how many times can one superstar go for their finisher? I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. He might have it. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal. I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Yes! Takes it! Well, tables, ladders, and chairs. Do I need some? Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, B. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old fashioned one on one fight. What a great match. Thank you, everybody, for spending part of your Thanksgiving holiday with us. Things so far, but now it's time for our main event. Throw all the rules out the window because it's time for things to get extreme. Battle that can end up anywhere. Imposing adversary. You don't.
Weighing in at 297 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Cyclone Rick. Guys, I realize the title is not on the line here, but I don't think the champ can afford to give less effort. Then I've got some good news for you. Better chance of Saxton scoring a date for Friday night than there is with the champ giving less than 100%. As we ready for Byron, what can you say that he's incredibly hungry to prove their one away with their own days to What's this? I think it's about to be a oh, man. official official order. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to say. Here's oh, right in the face. Destroyed. This might be the opportunity he needed. Hard to He's got him covered. And he kicks out. Have to put in a little more work than that. Oh, man, what a light drop. Square inch of that ring scouted to perfection. Beautiful. Harsh impact. Oh man, what a drop. His shoulders are down. And kicks out at two. Nice kick out. What's gonna happen here? No, Sunset don't do section. this. Oh gosh. Sunset flip power bomb. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free for all where absolutely anything can happen. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drive this match, Byron. It's one giant free for all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold, and unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury, sometimes serious injury. This might be it! Oh my. As we've seen in the past, 
Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? to have a seat. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Awesome? Awesome? Wow. Nice. Shut it down. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. He's going for it all. Look at this! Beautiful technique. As Byron mentioned, Innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. What a strike! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Boy, that one hit the target. Quick thinking to avoid that one. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Incredible! There's a lot of force behind that one. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ooh, what impact. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only straight right to the mouth. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Look out, down he goes. 
and he might not get back up. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt, it's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. There can only be one top off here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Awkward by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Me just watch it. The steps connect. That hurt me just watch it. While I was coming in today, I heard a lot of fans lauding this superstar for competing here tonight. According to them, it takes a lot of guts to compete with such an injury. Just dropped. Injuries definitely are a storyline to keep an eye on during this match, but so far, there does not appear to be anything really slowing this superstar down. Would you two listen to yourselves? A couple of scrapes and bruises do not constitute injuries. Come on now, talk about overreacting to a situation. to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. For some reason, I found myself reading one of those unreliable so-called sports entertainment news websites earlier today, and they were reporting that major injuries would prevent tonight's match from happening. I wonder how they feel about reporting that story now. Did you hear that crack? Tremendous impact. Following up on what you were saying earlier, Corey, injuries are something to keep an eye on here. But to say that anybody is competing with major injuries in this match is just false. Maybe we can just say those were alternative facts. That seems to be a thing nowadays anyway. A lot of people looking to praise this superstar, but the way I see it, competing injured just goes along with the territory. Nasty drop. He's not looking like himself here, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This is exactly the opening his opponent was looking for. It wasn't easy to find, but hey, he found it. Finally. Nailed it. So far, so good, guys. That injury doesn't seem to be negatively impacting this superstar one bit. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. If I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially... My goodness! Michael, I'm not surprised to see the injury be a non-factor here. According to the medical staff, it's absolutely something you can play through, as they say. He's going for the pin. Oh, somehow! I can't believe it! He just won't go away! Just when 
you thought he had nothing left. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. He goes for the cover. And he manages to get the shoulder up. Wow. Oof. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this. Historically, Thanksgiving is sports entertainment world, and I expect tonight to be no different. This guy just refuses to quit. Still in it. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. When this guy's on, out. Looking closely here, it doesn't seem to me like this superstar is favoring that injured area, which has to be a good sign. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's gonna happen next. Incoming. Backing off Byron's earlier statement, the medical staff is categorizing the injury as minor, so it should come as no surprise that there appear to be no ill effects during this match. It doesn't matter if the injury is minor, major. There was no stopping this superstar from stepping in the ring here tonight, and that's a fact. And he got a near fall out of it. What a match. Look at that nasty impact. Games. Yes! Unreal performance. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here is your winner. Mr. Cyclone Rick. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. What a great Where's match. this going? I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, he is rolling. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Did you see the impact on that? Wow.